Your no. turn. Okay, um, Christine Maya. Hey, Christine. Um, she's saying, so exciting. For looking forward to your video. Thanks, Christine. And she says, my question is, if you could only keep three bags forever, oh my gosh, which three would you pick and why? Oh, three bags. You have three bags. For me, I would base it on type. I would probably keep a tote, um, a crossbody bag, and like a satchel type. And without a doubt, the first tote I would keep would be my Burberry tote. Um, I don't know, can we spin this around? Yeah, and I'll show you how it looks like. And they don't make this anymore, so it's so unfortunate. And it's, uh, can you see it from here? Up top here? Yep. Right, right there? Right up there. there. And uh, I just love that bag. And it's so durable. Yeah. So that's a forever bag. And if I, if they still make it, I would definitely re replace that bag. And for me, oh man, um... I would do the same thing. I would pick like a multiple of three. I'd pick a mini bag. I'd take one of my Chanel minis. I would do my a medium size, so I would do a push my push up Matisse, and then I would do a large bag. I would probably keep my GST. Those yeah. So the bags. other two bags for me would um, probably be my walk. I think it's just such a versatile bag because it could be a casual bag worn crossbody and then during the night as an evening clutch so I just love that bag mm -hmm. and um, I think if uh, it's a forever bag I think the my Kelly it will be my forever bag that's definitely it's yeah. gorgeous guys <laughs> until I get a Birkin <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah if, if I got a Birkin that would definitely be my yeah. forever bag yeah so the next question is from African Sunstar. Why do you think, um, or what do you think about Chanel watches and would you purchase one? Love you ladies. Thank you. Most def definitely. J12 has been on my wish list for like forever, um, but it keeps on getting bumped. Um, and now I, I wanted to pick up the, uh, the white ceramic, but now I'm starting to fall in love with the black. Um, the next watch I'm going to purchase is probably going to be a J12. Yeah. And I've never really delved into Chanel watches, so I don't. I can't really say that I. Yeah, really not for learned. well, to be quite frank, for a, uh, it's not really considered a real watch. It's still considered a fashion brand because there are right. better brands for watches. Um, but I love it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we have a question from S R I or S Rivid H Y A. Three. Love, love, both of your channels. Keep it coming, ladies. Wanted to ask about your opinion on Chanel Rectangle Mini Square Mini and LV Mini Backpack. Also, what's your opinion on Goyard St. Louis? Louis or Lou? Yeah. Louis. Louis? Yeah. Wow. Um, love them all. Love them all. Well, I've only owned the uh, Rectangle Mini. Uh, but if you, my opinion on all of them, as a starter bag, I think the Square Mini is the best buy for your buck because yeah. um, it's the most affordable. Yeah, I, think I agree. Bodies. I I agree. Um, I've I have the rectangle and the square, and um, I mean, although I love my rectangle patent, the square holds just a tad more, and it's a great starter bag. I think you can't go wrong with it, and um, I I don't own a walk, but. I know that the mini would hold more than the walk, so Most definitely. you can yeah. you can use it for evening, you can use it for daytime, you know, and if you get black, it will just go through the day to the night. Yeah, and your very, patent leather one, I love uh, that. Yeah, That's the patent leather is really nice, but uh, there's just so and many varieties. The mini backpack can answer that. Oh my um, gosh, the mini backpack, love, love, love the mini backpack for every day and running errands. I use it. I've, I've been using it for the last few months non-stop and I love it so just personal choice and the Goyard I don't own the Goyard so and I don't, don't and I'm not quite familiar with it so I can't really answer that question yeah. for you um, the next question the last one I have is from one diva D um, she says you seem to purchase a lot of big designer items do you have room for all of your purchases and if not when and where you can sign and sell those items 
Oh, okay, that's, that's easy for me because I've been consigning for the last 20, 25 years. And for all you in Vancouver, if you want to look at look for my stuff, uh, I consigned to Turnabout. And they have a location, multiple locations in White Rock, Vancouver, uh, on Main Street, Granville Street, Broadway. My stuff goes to Broadway. I probably consign about four times a year. Um, I not so much for my bags nor some of my shoes but mainly my clothes for sure wow. um big turnaround that's that. great yeah. now we know guys now we know <laughs> <laughs> and me um I no, I, I'm really bad at consigning because for me it's just a lot of hassle I used to do a lot of Poshmark um but I just I don't find the time and I usually end up just giving it to Salvation Army. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, and Poshmark, for bags, you need to do it online. Yeah, Whereas Poshmark is all online and you have to keep continually, you know, answering questions and and participating in all the groups to to be able to share it with everybody and get sales. So yeah. where I can sign it's um, an actual store right. and we just drop send it off. off. Yeah. And, and, and I probably should look into that. Yeah. Well, it's for I like to kind of stay you know, minimal, and it's just my way of subsidizing new purchases for myself. Yep. Carlo, Carlota Everall, question for <laughs> both, uh, <laughs> for both, if you could only own one handbag for the rest of your life, which one would it be and why? Um, I think for me, it would be the uh, classic flat medium. You know, I have always said that I, my one bag that I would only keep was my Valentino, my Red Rock Stud Valentino. But now that I have my boy bag, um, I think the boy bags, if I only could pick one, I would pick that one. And the reason why I picked the bag that I picked is because it's so classic and timeless and spin around for a long time. It's not going to get dated and you can just keep that bag forever and pass it on and as long as you keep it good. Yeah. And my boy bag, well, because it's the boy bag and mm -hmm. I think it's very versatile and I can wear it casual or dressy, so that's the one I would keep. Andrew's World. Hello, Yay. lovely ladies. Do you think YouTube is to blame for your large luxury co collection or do you think you would have always been into luxury items in such a way? Love you both. Love both of your channels. Mm. Um, uh, to some extent, I would say so. YouTube and more so Instagram. I think I'm in yeah. influenced more on Instagram. Oh. I see something cool and nice. It's like, oh, I want to get that too. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm really influenced by Instagram, but yeah. I think more so, I mean, over the last year, um, because I did, was I just recent on Instagram, yes, and YouTube did influence a lot of purchases, just because I wasn't aware of, of so many brands before, and um, just seeing what everybody has, and, and having some disposable income, it's like, oh, it's like, I would really, really like to have something like that, it's like, but... Um, Everything I've bought has been used and has a purpose. So, I mean, I don't have a lot of stuff that now that's just hanging around and not being used. Unnecessary, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like that. I, it would have to have a purpose. Otherwise, right. I wouldn't want to keep it. Oh, actually, that is a good point. I'm kind of curious what all you viewers, if you're influenced by Instagram or YouTube, and if you have... And this is credit to Nettie. She created this hashtag for me. Hashtag <laughs> is it made me do it. Made so, me do it. So send me um, a message, tag me, and if there's something that either one has uh, influenced you, kind of yeah. curious. We're all, we want to know what you guys yeah. are, are being influenced by. Nice. Annie Osito, which luxury SLG items do you have and what is your rationale for buying each item? Okay. Well, why don't I start because yeah. I don't have a big collection. I, I was never really big on SLGs as um, last year I only owned one wallet, my uh, Paloma Picasso wallet that I had for the last 20 years. And I finally sold that or wow. got rid of it. And then um, I bought my Zippy coin. And I've been using that and also my Clements wallet, which I've recently sold because uh, all my bags are so small and compact that it simply doesn't fit that wallet, although it's a lovely wallet. And I tend to gra gravitate towards the um, Louis Vuitton coin. So, um, what was the question? <laughs> what do you have in the rationale for buying? Because What's that's my only wallet. 
and I just recently bought, um, started to split up my edos because I'm using the uh, compact zippy coin instead of the long clements because the clements I used to put the coins in there but because this is so small I finally got a little coin pouch so I could carry it separately and I love that another oh. SLG which is the best this should be everybody's yes. first purchase yes. and you could use it for coins I use it for keys and it's just so multifunctional yeah. And um, while I was in Paris, I picked up one for my uh, goddaughter. It'll be her first yeah. luxury piece. I think like these are just the greatest little yeah. SLGs. That and the round coin purse. I mean, I use my, my Louis Vuitton round coin purse all the time in every single bag. And I keep my, my earbuds and my power cord for my iPhone. And um, and the next best thing, oh, yes, this oh, is yes. another must. Everybody have. has this, and I do not have this. Oh, you gotta I, get I this. I just this is... do not know. It's like make a bag. What is the? I, I like always say, what is the rage on this, guys? You Tell me. <laughs> it's the most adorable <laughs> thing ever. And it's great for your makeup. It's nice and compact. And while I'm traveling, you know, somewhere tropical, I don't want to bring a lot of big designer bags with right. me. And I just use this as a clutch. And it's great because you don't really need a whole lot when you're on vacation, you're going out for dinner, maybe a lipstick, a cell phone, um, the key card, and that's it. So this is perfect. Although I just recently, actually yeah. I didn't buy it. RJ recently purchased this for me and I wanted to grab this because it's limited edition and it was available so I was happy to find it. But honestly, I haven't really used this yet yeah. because all my bags are so small that... And I find that for SLGs, for just like casual. I use the toiletry 19. Toiletry 19 for me was really versatile um, when I was traveling because I not only carried all of my essentials in it but I also used it as a clutch. So mm -hmm. you know if Which you guys are, are looking yeah. to do some sort of SLG I mean like I like Siv said always yeah this must is, have this That's is the number, this is one, number thing. one definitely. So you know I would highly suggest that. I have a few of those and they're just great. So we got a question from BT channel that's Breakfast and Tiffany's and she has a YouTube channel. Hey Tiffany. Hi. And you two are beautiful ladies. Mm. My question is how do you feel about going out without any makeup on or do you? Yes, all the time. <laughs> you guys know I don't wear very much makeup and I don't have any qualms with going out without makeup. Um, if I'm doing errands and running around um, just locally? For the most part, I usually do. The day that I do not wear makeup is the day that you run into someone that you wish you had makeup on. <laughs> so I really try to wear makeup most of the time. And oh, we have someone else from Vancouver. Louis V83. Kevin, hey there. Hi. What are both of your top five places, restaurants you love in Vancouver? Oh, this is an, I like this question. Oh, well, okay, maybe I should you start. Go. You Let's should see. go okay. because I haven't um, been here. <laughs> well, um, one of my go-to places uh, I go to quite often is Global, and that's where we're gonna go on Monday. Yep. And I probably go there once, twice, three times a month, I'd say. Um, that's for, um, West Coast Eats, and let's see here, Japanese, um, I like going to Zakushi, um, what are my other picks, let's see, okay, I've mentioned this in my other video, I don't know if you consider this a restaurant or not, but Mango Yummy, um, I'm a fair, it's, it's a beverage shop, so I don't know if it's a um, restaurant or not, but I go there fairly often, and Eve, I love it so much that, uh, RJ runs out of his way to get me a drink there. And he's such a nice guy. Yeah, he's so sweet. <laughs> and because it's so far for me to drive to get my drink there, I've even considered investing in a shaved ice machine. That's how much I love it. And I go there so often that the owner knows what I want. And even before I order, he'll have my drink ready. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> wow. We should go there. You should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm really curious. <laughs> and um, I like top ones for me is... Whenever I come to Vancouver, because we just don't have them in the United States, White Spot. White Spot, oh, for me, yeah, we go there a lot. <laughs> has been my child, ever since I was small. We always used to go to White Spot, and I always go to White Spot first thing when I come to Vancouver. Other place, I... We, what about that Mexican restaurant that you go to that I've never been to before? There's, 
I don't know the name of it, but there's a Mexican restaurant on 6th Street in New Westminster, and it has such authentic Mexican food. It's so delicious. La, La Taqueria. Yeah, is it? La Taqueria. Yeah, and they have one oh, on La Candy yes. and off of uh, Broadway, and I've never been there before. It's delicious. And then another one we always go to just locally is Earl's. Love Earl's whenever I come to Vancouver. RJ's favorite. He loves the wings um, there. Capri wings. Oh, what else? What other restaurant? There's a couple in um, in Granville Island. Is um, oh, I can't remember what the name of it is. The keg. Well, the, the keg. Steak. Yeah, we've well, always you're gone not to really the keg. meat eaters. We're not a meat sandbar. Eater. The sandbar. We we like to go to the sandbar. Mm -hmm. Dockside is a really nice restaurant. They've got a nice patio outside. Yeah, but, yeah so those are some of our favorites. <laughs> Okay, happy underscore Marcy? Is it yeah. a Mars? Mars. Hello, ladies. I am so excited about this Q&A. <laughs> I would like to know if you are buying more luxury bags and SLGs mm. because of Instagram and YouTube. And I think we've answered that. And yeah. I'd say, yeah. I think it influences us. Yeah, it's a but, bad influence. But also because it's just like a big outlet for like... Uh, letting us know what's out there and what's new. Exactly. Because <laughs> sometimes you just don't know what's out there until you see it on Instagram. It's like, oh, yeah, something that didn't, wasn't even on your radar, and you see it, and it's like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous, and you just appreciate it so much. And then much. that's when you bite and you bump something from your right. Wrist. So yeah, yeah, it is an influence, as bad as it could be. Premi, you, yum life. Yeah, Premi, you lum life. Hi, pretty girls. Love you both. I would like to know if you ever lend your luxury bags to a friend or a family member. How would you address them if you're not comfortable with loaning your stuff? Um, well, I've never lent anything to anybody, but I've uh, never been asked as well. Um, yeah. And for me, um, I, my, my sisters and my none of my friends are really into that, so they've never asked me. And... But I, although I have given bags to my mother and my sisters, like my, um, you know, a couple of my totes and my Louis Vuitton bags, I just gave them, you know, the ones that I wasn't using, I just gave it to them. So, um, that's a good sister. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and uh, like <laughs> read some of these questions, maybe? Okay, um, so, um, just Segio. Oh, sorry, we're butchering these names. I'm so sorry. Uh, she goes, hi, ladies. What do you think about Louis Vuitton hard-sided pieces? Would you buy an LV trunk? What about the Petite Malay and the Coffret Tressor? Yeah, Tressor? <laughs> I, oh my gosh. hard side pieces, I would say no because I would be really afraid of someone stealing my luggage. Uh, trunk, I would absolutely love a trunk if money wasn't an object. And the pet, Petit Malay, uh, yes, I love that, but um, it's pretty pricey too, yeah. so unless I can afford it. And I don't know what this is. I don't know what the Coffret Tresor is. I, I've never seen it, but the Petit Malay, I would definitely, yes, I would love it. The hard-sided trunks, you know, maybe just for... I'd like a big one for a coffee table, Maybe but that's right about here. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just if if I have a lot of money, definitely. But I not something I would I have on my list. Right hard sided now. pieces. Yeah, I don't have no. any hard sided pieces on my Wind. list. Not on not, your radar. Not on my radar right now. Um, and then BG or be grateful one thousand. She says, "Hi, ladies." So looking forward to your Q&A questions for both. Um, this is, how did you meet your husbands and how long have you been together? And do you have children? Thank you. Love your channel. We just had this conversation over <laughs> yep. din yep. dinner earlier. <laughs> um, well, for RJ and I, we met um, on a golf course. And we've been together about five years now. And me, I met Bob through work. And um, we've been together for 20 years. And um, yes, I have two children. And I have one son, Boomerang Child, who's currently living with me right now. <laughs> and MJ. MJ. She just says, hi, lovely ladies. Love you. Love you, MJ. Hi, MJ. We <laughs> love you, MJ. <laughs> and one day I'm going to come to New York and then meet up with you. Definitely. Yes. We'll all have to meet up. Um, your sweet mom. Hello there. Wanted to ask your opinion. If you're... If you are only able to buy one luxury bag, which will you prefer? Chanel Mini Flap, Hermes Garden Party 30, 
or Speedy 30 in Canvas. Tell me why, and if you also know the current price. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Oh, oh man, what Still would you do? Question. I know. I, was like <laughs> I think I would buy the uh, mini flap. I do really, really love it. Yeah, it's I like a big to have. I think I would go with that mini flap as well. And um, as far as how much it is, I mean, they range from like 26 to 29 depending on, you know, the style, the leather, um, the, uh, I guess the season and if it's a limited edition or not. Um, but, uh, yeah, that mini flap is just... And I wouldn't favorite. know the price of a garden party, or actually I don't even know the price of a Speedy 30. Well, the Speedy 30 is, I think, I think now it's like 970, just the plain Speedy 30. Um, but I love the Chanel. Oh, finito. I think that's it. So that's all our questions, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably going to be a really Super long, long one. <laughs> what does it say here? 55 minutes? <laughs> well, tr um, this might come in two parts, guys. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I Thanks really for joining enjoyed us. And thank you all for all my girl the uh, questions for us. Thank you, guys. See you in the next video. Bye, Bye everyone.